when we think of prophecy, we always think about, about the second coming of Christ. And are there signs of the second coming? I have my Bible open here to Matthew chapters 24 and 25. These two chapters are called the Olivet Discourse because Jesus was on the Mount of Olives when he spoke these words to his disciples. It all started with some questions. And uh, one of those questions was right in verse three here. It, and the disciples asked Jesus, tell us, when will, be these, when will these things be? And what will be the sign of your coming and the end of the age? And it says, Jesus answered them. And he gave signs, yes. And he said to verse six, there are going to be wars and rumors of wars. Oh my. I'm 92 years old and I have no memory of any time since I was a little kid where there was not war some place in the world. Yes, the whole time. And uh, this, uh, of course, uh, war, and there's war now. We have troops scattered on every continent around the world. And, but wars and rumors of wars. But he said, see that you're not alarmed. Don't get upset. This must take place. But, Jesus said, the end is not yet. So when another war pops up, the end is not yet. And it says, verse 7, there will be famines. Oh, there have been, and there are now in the world, famines. Uh, sometimes due to war, sometimes due to drought. But, and earthquakes. Oh, my. Have you kept track of them? Go online, check. The list is long of earthquakes. But he says at the end of verse 8 in Matthew 24, these are but the beginning of the birth pains. But then verse 9, another sign, you will be hated by all nations. Believers have never been appreciated, always despised, sometimes violently persecuted, and so it is now and in China in particular, and in some Muslim nations, believers have a difficult time. We've been reading about it in Turkey. And then verse 11, he says, there will be law lawlessness will be increased. Oh, oh my. We've seen our cities disrupted with violent mobs. Chicago, uh, lawless people going down Michigan Avenue, breaking the windows in those exclusive stores. Yes, there it is. And then verse 14, the gospel has to be preached into the whole world. And it has been. In 1930, uh, HCJB, a radio station opened up in Quito, Ecuador. Uh, proclaiming the gospel shortwave in multiple languages. 1948, the Far Eastern Broadcasting Company in Manila. Yes. 1952, Trans World Radio uh, in Monaco, Monte, from Monte Carlo. These three stations cooperate. The gospel has gone into the whole world. The signs are here. They've all been cared for. Next time, we'll talk about dates.